This is some of the best orange juice ever. It's so sour, it's almost like lemon juice. Okay, combination of orange juice and coffee. Now we can begin the day. Good morning, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Queens. I'm in Cape Coast, Ghana in West Africa. Woke up this morning to the sound of the crashing Atlantic waves on the sand. Uh, this, is, this is a beautiful place. Uh, but today we're actually driving to Kumasi, which is uh, in the Ashanti region of Ghana. And we're gonna be focusing on Ashanti region, Ashanti culture food. Uh, so it's, we're gonna meet up with a host mom. We're gonna hopefully eat at a chop bar. We're gonna explore, uh, who knows, what else will happen but I'm gonna share it all with you in this video right now get ready we're gonna eat some amazing Ashanti food today Thank you. having a quick breakfast before we head out we're on our way to Kumasi. It's going to be about a four hour drive to get there. Yeah, it never gets old. It's so good. The coconuts are quite small, so I'm having a second. Welcome to Kumasi. That was about a four hour drive. We had a little bit of traffic getting in here, but now we're stopping in Kumasi first to eat at a chop bar, which is a, it's a local restaurant. Kind of walk off the main road into a kind of like a courtyard area. There's mango trees. Oh yes, this is the spot. Oh, I can smell the aroma of palm nut oil. Oh, and I'm hungry road. Uh, when you sit in a car for, for hours, it definitely makes you hungry. Hello. The whole restaurant is, is in kind of a, a wooden a wooden structure with trees surrounding. It's a nice location, but we're first gonna get a just take a peek back in the kitchen, see what's going on, see the dishes that they're preparing. Oh yeah! Wow, that's a lot of chilies going into there. <laughs> oh, this one is fufu. Yes, this is fufu. This is fufu, okay. Very important food in this region of West Africa. And their version is a combination of uh, cassava and plantain. But they're making a lot of fufu, and that just takes like ultimate force and it, it takes so much so much energy uh, it's really a you really respect them for making it <laughs> okay but she, she better not move it with her hand <laughs> i don't want to this will be my first time ever yes yes Where do, i hold it like this yes wow okay this weighs about 20 kilos yeah it's heavy hey Oh wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. This takes some serious force. <laughs> I can already feel it. I can already feel it like in my abs and my arm. Just that was, I think I did five pounds. And how long do you have to pound it? As much as it gets softer. Like about an hour? Uh, not really. About 20 minutes. And not to mention, it's extremely hot in here too. Thank you, man. <laughs> really good. <laughs> That is, that's tough work, that's a lot of work. Man, he just smashes it down. You can hear that squishing of it.
There's a lot of people up there uh, waiting for food, but there's no line, so you kind of just gotta fight your way in. It's a very popular place. Uh, everyone's here to eat the fufu, uh, and you can get a variety of the different soups that they have all in different pots, and then when you order, they dish it all up. Uh, and oh, one of the things that's cool here is that you choose your own bowl. So the size, if you wanna eat with others, if you wanna eat by yourself, you choose your own bowl uh, before they serve you. I got the fufu with a mix of meat. There's fish in there. There's, it looks like a piece of pork leg and then also some assorted bush meats, uh, which maybe, do we know what the bush meat is? What type of bush meat is it? This is a grass cutter. Oh, it's grass cutter. I think so. This is oh, awesome. <laughs> okay, let me first dip into that, that fufu and you kind of scissor cut it. I'm kind of sitting on, a, on the back of a hill, so balancing, but you kind of scissor cut a piece of fufu and then you can dip it into that, that soup. And I got a soup, a combination. Oh, it's a combination of the, that greens, right? Yeah. She added in some of the green soup in here. Um, then she added in, is there palm nut soup as well? And a, combination soup, of, soup. and a combination of the palm nut soup as well. Mmm. The fufu has a bit of a different texture than other versions of fufu that I've had. It's it's really smooth. It's not quite as sticky as some other versions that I've had, but like gummy, more gummy. Okay, now moving on to the assorted meats. Some of this fish. Okay. <coughs> it's been cooked so it sort of absorbs all of that soup. Okay, next up for some of the pork. It looks like, like yeah, some part of the, the leg. Mmm. Whoa. Yeah, that's a little blubbery. Um, well, very salty as well. Almost like a salted, preserved, almost kind of, kind of pig taste. We don't know exactly what type of meat this is, but possibly grass cutter. Mm -hmm. Possibly grass grass cutter. And grass cutter, by the way, is a greater cane rat. It looks like a giant hairy rodent. Mmm. No, that might be a red meat though. That's like a salted red meat. Mmm. Oh, that's, that's delicious. I'm getting down to the bottom. Still working on the, the fufu, but yeah, their soup here is, is excellent. And the meats are also really good. The pork is a little, is a little blubbery, but I really like the, the other meats. Yeah, that red meat. But actually that like dried smoked meat. That was the best meat. That, that meat was amazing. <laughs> Great bowl of fufu. And I'm, yeah, that fills you up nicely. That, that kind of, that, that, that almost feels exactly like it looks once it's in your stomach, like a ball. But man, that was good. The soup was really good. And yeah, that mix of meat was great. This is Comfort and Evelyn is actually hosting us. So the sister is coming with us. Okay. And she's, she's going to take care of everything uh, about dinner tonight. So we are at the Asafo Market and then we're we'll going It's called Asafo Market, right? Yeah. And we're going to buy a few things, some ingredients before we go back and cook for dinner tonight. Just there are palm nuts, there are dried fish, there are some vegetables, there's plantains. Oh, I'm seeing pea eggplants, there's avocados, there's mangoes. <laughs> The ladies at the market, they were all talking pretty loud, but not sure exactly what was going on, but actually they're really friendly. They're just joking. Um, they're all inviting me to, to take photos of them and take photos of the food. Okay. <laughs> okay <Mona. laughs> Oh. Okay, next she's buying some salted fish. So we're here at the, the, the fish salted preserved smoked fish stall. Yeah, that aroma of fish. It's really good. <laughs> 
have everything you need here, fruits and vegetables and meats and fish. But something I, I really like about this market is that everything is on like high shelves. Uh, so it, it's perfect for like walking through and just looking, it's on, it's on chest level. <laughs> cool. I got it. <laughs> Man power, you're amazing shoes. Yeah, amazing. Nice. Slip us. Yeah, slip us. He's, he has to be the friendliest man at the market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a great day. For for taking my picture to Ireland. Have a great day. <laughs> Bunch of different types of oil in water bottles. Dried fish. Cool. Taro, the taro, right? Taro, right? Taro, I think maybe coco yam is the same as taro. Next up, we are buying one of the main ingredients for dinner tonight, which they said it's the coco yam leaves, but I think it's taro. I think it's the same as taro. Uh, so we're on our way back to our host's home, and that's where we're going to start cooking for dinner tonight. Too heavy in the car after eating all the foo foo. <laughs> so we had to jump out of the car to make it up the hill. Okay, we're almost back to the house now. No, Ma, I think that's him. That's him. Oh, yeah, look at these mangoes. Yeah. Ma, you have to see this one. Ooh. <laughs> Huge, yeah. Mangoes. We're on a hill kind of overlooking Kumasi. Some beautiful mango trees in the front. Nice huh? yeah, They're getting started on dinner tonight. Uh, the main dish that we're gonna eat, the main staple, is called ambesi, which is ambesi. Yeah, ambesi. A combination. It's gonna be a combination of boiled yam, uh, the coco yam, and plantain. Uh, so first she is boiling that up, and then she's also she's also uh, peeling some of the the pea eggplants. Contumere, contumere stew. And that's common in this region? This one is a traditional way of preparing the contumere stew. It's not like the one that you cook it in, like on fire, but we will grind it. Then we ah. add palm oil to it, yes. Wow. So it's a traditional way of Traditional version of it. Awesome. The main dish that they're going to be making is a contumere stew. Contumere stew, which is made from the, the taro leaves. And so in order to prepare the taro leaves, she first kind of sliced off the stocky part. Uh, and then she's rinsing them in salt water to prepare them. Uh, yeah, but they're gonna make it the traditional way. This is a common dish in the, the Ashanti region of Ghana. First though, they boil the, the pepe or the, the chili peppers and the pea eggplants in some water. And then they're gonna add in the, the taro leaves. Um, we, use, oh, okay. we use this fish. Okay. I want to make sure that most of the salt are out, otherwise it will taste very, very salty. Too salty? Okay. This is with the plantain. Yes. We are adding the container to the pepper and the small snack. Um, the vapor that is boiling it, so we don't we don't expect it to boil too much. So the moment it's okay. boiling, like, I have to turn it so that the back two can also get boiled. So you don't need to boil it for too long, though. Yes. I you see the way it smells? Yeah. It makes it nice. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a very strong. Yes. It's, it's almost. Like it's kind of like like almost like fermented fish. Yes. Pick the coco yam leaves, the chilies, and the pea eggplants. They're done boiling, so she's getting ready to 
hand grind them uh, to make the stew. complicated dish to make with so many ingredients but she is taking that that salted fermented fish and just roasting it over the, the fire uh, but in the meantime then everything is starting to get ground up first the the chilies the the pea egg plants um, then some fresh onions and then those pieces of fish are gonna go in there and ground up with all the leaves it's gonna be an incredible stew She just tossed in the toasted, grilled, roasted, fermented salted fish. Immediately as she smashed that, you can really, yeah, you can really smell it kind of kind of cheesy. But yeah, this is this is really gonna be a special treat for dinner tonight because they're making everything from scratch by hand, even grinding it by hand. Oh you're gonna just cook the palm oil? Just heat it? Okay. Is that gonna go into here? Yes. Ah, okay. She heated up a bunch of palm nut oil until it was fully boiling uh, and then poured it into that green taro leaf mash. Uh, and you could hear that just sizzle as, it, as the hot oil hit those, that mash and just started to cook. Uh, oh, that, smells, that smells incredible. And now they put the fish on top, that salted tilapia, and then the eggs will go on top. Oh, so you take a starch. Oh, look at that red, orange oil. So you kind of dip it. Mm -hmm. ah, dip okay. and then you scoop up. You scoop up. Yeah. I'm going for cocoa yam. Mm. This is really homemade. <laughs> It's really good. We are sitting down with the family to eat. The food is in the center. We have a big, the, all the starches, and then the, the stew, the conto mire. Conto mire. Conto mire, it's right in the center there. <laughs> the traditional way to eat it in, to, in Ghana is just to share it all together. Oh. Mmm. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, you've got that the banana, and it's, it's, a green banana, it's a green plantain, so it's starchy, but kind of gummy at the same time. Then dipped into that, that contomire is amazing. You've got like the, the taro leaves are very soft and like spinachy. You've got the aroma of that palm oil, the salted, preserved, fermented fish. That comes in extremely nicely. Yeah, that flavors the whole dish. And then, okay. <laughs> okay, actually, I've been doing it wrong. It's supposed to break the, the plantain so that it's more of a scoop. You can scoop up more of the dish. Can you show us one more time? Okay, you grab plantain dip. Take my mommy Eat that. Oh, and then? Yeah, mommy. <laughs> and then follow with avocado. Mm -hmm. It's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a piece of avocado. This is the next level, next level skills of eating, next level skills of eating contomire. So we, we get a, oh, get some of that good contomire on there. This one first. Okay, first eat this one. Yes. And this one second. Follow with the avocado. Nice. Mm -hmm. What a combination. Oh, you've got that followed by the creamy avocado. It's sweet. It's creamy. 
It's so good. <laughs> okay, next I'll try some of the, the salted fish, which is that, that salted tilapia on the top of there. It's called Kobe. Oh, Kobe? Kobe. Kobe. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Really nice and salty, a jolt of flavor. Yeah, very, very salted, preserved fish. What a dish. And amazing to share it with the whole family. Loving all of the different starches as well, the yams, the cocoa yams, the taro, the, the plantain. You have to taste it with the avocado. Here you go. That completes the bite. That is awesome combination. We have come to another end of a day. Again, this was a spectacular day. Ah, oh, and, and I mean, the whole day was good. We sat in the car for a long drive, but the whole day was great. Lunch was delicious, but this ending meal, sitting down with the family to eat a traditional Ashanti region meal in Ghana, and that was a dish unlike anything I've ever tried so far being in Ghana so far. What an incredible dish. I absolutely love that dish. That w I liked the starches that went with it. I liked the stew with the, the, the leaves that, that it almost had a spinachy taste to it, but then flavored with that fish. Uh, the family, also a huge thank you to the family for inviting us to their home. Uh, they were so friendly and nice and it was so special to sit down and just all share a bowl of food together. What a beautiful evening in Kumasi. And I wanna say a huge thank you to you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now and also click that little bell icon. That way you'll get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Good night from Kumasi. See you on the next video. Oh, and by the way, one last thing. I picked up this shirt in Accra um, and it's, it's, I mean, you, you, you sweat a lot in Ghana no matter what, but I like the airflow coming on in this shirt and the print. What do you think, what do you think about my shirt? It's pretty comfortable. Okay, good night, see you on the next video. Okay. You want to see anything? Yeah, just, just see all of us.